Okay, so uh, Street Fighter here will show us how to change the 28H uh, battery and install it into the Inokim Lite 2. Okay, first use the Allen key 2.58 to remove that uh, this uh, screw that holds the plastic cover. Hey Nick, every week you change hair color. Yes. Number three, Allen key. Ah. Okay. Just to remove the uh, bottom screws of the plastic cover. Yes. Take note of this padding. Must keep it. Okay. So this is what the controller looks this like. Here's the controller. Okay, it's the, uh, for the Lite 2, the newest version, the controller is the smaller uh, casing. Yeah. Right. Okay, and the, then... If your controller has the bigger casing, it wouldn't be able to fit the 20 h right? And one more, this, take note about this number. Yeah, okay. So Lite 2 is the... L201. Yeah, yeah. this is the latest controller. Okay, the most important part. What's it? Okay. Okay, so remove the... Battery. Pack. Yeah, connectors. Just remove all the connectors, yeah. the battery connectors. Yes. Okay. You gotta disconnect the battery. Uh, sorry, the ba uh, the controller connector from the motor. So disconnect the motor control, uh, the connector. Moving the cable tie. Number three, this one. Number four. Number four. Remove the brake line. So basically, we are removing all the controller connections from the motor, from the throttle, from the battery. Mapping. Okay. We're gonna remove the whole motor because that's where the battery is gonna slide out from. Okay. So we remove the front, the controller from the front because that's where the controller sits, and then we're removing the motor, right? Because that's where the battery comes out from. Gotta knock it out. Yep, there you go. Okay, so right, remove the screws uh, for the fender, the rear fender. This is the light wiring. Make sure that it's not um, in the way. So these are the screws for the rear fender. Remove those two screws on each side okay remember to set those screws aside do not lose them if you find that they have more screws at the end then you gotta redo the whole thing okay. gently uh, shake out the rear fender Slide it out. Remove the foam pads. Go for it. Okay. Just gotta keep pushing the bat because the battery sits very tightly in the deck, so you can push it back and forth. 
until something comes loose, right? Because the battery sits very tightly. So sometimes it, if it doesn't come out from the back, you can push it up from the front, like how this, right? So that's why we need to open up both the back and the front end, just so that we have space to uh, push it in and out. Okay, there are more foam pads. No go bar, so. Alright, so the 28H will look like this. Throw it into this Inokin light too. Okay, wiring, push it all the way through. It's gonna sit in, slide it in. Alright, can we see the front? Is there enough space in the front? Okay, so the battery comes up to quite uh, Battery comes up to quite uh, you know, quite in front of the deck, right? Later we'll show you how to do some modifications so that you can fit the controller and all the wiring in. Right. So what we're gonna do, right, to make space for the twenty eight H battery, we're gonna shave off up to here, you know, this uh, rear fender. Okay. Let's go ahead. But um, okay, so yeah, not to worry because we will replace this with a thinner foam pad, right? Because the standard one that comes with the light two, it uh, it's it's too thick, right? But we'll replace it with a thinner foam pad, right? Yes, this one must be shaving off. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna wait. So we're just going to uh, clean this out a little bit, right? Okay. So now after we have shaved off the thick foam pad, right? We cut this uh, smaller foam pad out and uh, stick it on to here. Right, the foam pads are important both from uh, fitting right, to make it a tight fit so that water doesn't enter and also um, to make sure that everything is uh, fit tightly. Like this one, we would put it against the battery. Right, slide it in. and screw back the fender screws okay so cable tie the wires together right so they don't get tangled up Tuck the wires in before installing, putting the motor back. Okay. Take note. Yeah. Pull the motor cable out. Right. 
use the mallet to uh, hit it back into the slot. Okay, this guy doesn't. It's not using a mallet. Okay, support, support. There you go. That's the right way to do it. Okay, yeah, align the arrows of the connectors up, right, and slot it in. Nicely done. Okay, uh, thread the brick line. Oh, sorry. Okay, remember the screw? This is the drum brake screw, right, to secure the drum brake. And then okay. Okay, install the brake line through the hole. Yeah. Okay, make sure the brakes work. Insert the plastic guts. Insert my guts. Okay, so we're done with the back. Now we'll, let's secure the front. Right now, because we shaved off the rear mud guard, we have enough space to uh, fit the controller in. Okay, so use uh, a blunt uh, stick to uh, push the battery all the way to the back. Right. That will give enough space for the wires and the controllers to fit in. Okay, so it should sit snug and tight inside. There you go. Okay, now uh, you definitely have enough space for the wires and the controllers to fit. Right, very strong. Okay, so when you fit the controller in, this label yep. face down. Okay. Label face down. Right. We want the side with the, the black color, right? Uh, plastic to face out. Okay, so just replace the plastic guard here. Fin the center screw first. Right, and then subsequently the screws on the bottom. There you go.
All right, uh, turn it around. All right, there you go, a 20AH Inokim Lite 2 um, with the front and back installation. Okay, and it, and it works. All right, thank you, sir.